Well, hello there. I'm glad you're here today. I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to have some issues with my internet because I see some things jumping around that shouldn't be jumping around. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment and I teach fun art, not fine art. And uh, if you're here, you like to paint, most likely. But if you don't like to paint, you might just want to see what we're doing on this page. Um, to, this week we've been working with alcohol inks and I'm getting some bookmarks ready. Let me see if I can put me up in a little bitty corner of the page. And that way you'll be able to see our project a lot easier. Uh, sometimes you just don't know what's happening with the internet. It's been okay today, so I don't know why I would be receiving a bad signal, but I, it's just kind of jumpy. So anyway, these are the, um, uh, let me, I'm waiting for a cue also from Facebook so I can see your comments. So this comes in about 20 more seconds if everything's okay. There you go. And I kind of have to be patient with it because there's nothing else I can do. Well, hello there. And let me turn off the I'm sound to my today. computer. Uh, looks like everything's okay and we can begin now. So, like I said, We've been working with alcohol inks all week long. Well, Monday and Wednesday because I do, uh, I'm, I come on Facebook Live on Monday and Wednesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So, I just saw some alcohol ink on my finger. Now, it's okay if you get alcohol ink on yourself, but I don't like to get it in my fingers. This is an example of some of the things we've been doing. Um, I usually take these cards. These are 5 by 7 Yupo watercolor paper. Uh, I use two different types. Uh, one is a Legion paper, made by Legion paper, and the other one is made by Ranger. Uh, the the uh, Ranger paper is translucent, a little bit different texture, and it's, um, it's nice to use. It's kind of like white cardstock. And uh, I like it, but I prefer the other Yupo. So we're going to be using that. I'm just going to do one today because since we're wrapping it up. And it looks like this. So anyway, our, and then a, a little bit later, I'm going to show you what our project is going to be for next week. Um, one of the things that I use after I do the alcohol ink design, besides a white pen, thank you, PJ. I hope you'll t tune in. Uh, we are in, hey, Lauren. We are in Lakeland, Florida. We're at the FMCA, that's Family Motor Coach Association Rally uh, for the Southeast region. And there probably are about five or 600 coaches here. It's a lot of people that have been doing this for some of them, I'm sure for 30 years. Uh, we meet a lot of people that we've known through Tiffin or known through uh, just travel our travels. Uh, but I teach an art class whenever I come to these rallies. And um, it's a lot of fun, and like I said, you get to know a lot of people. Uh, this morning, uh, this morning's class was no different. I had a great class, and uh, what we did was paint a uh, canvas back, and I painted it with the colors of the logo of the. Let me put this where you can see it. Painted it the colors of the logo of the meeting, which is kind of like a sunburst. Uh, with a, and, it, and it says, keep on smiling. And I did not do the printing because it would have been too wet to do it. So 
going to hold on to this and you can see this is ready if I wanted to put some design on it I could now PJ I see you're there you were wondering where I was I saw that um, but we'll be here until after my class on Saturday uh, remember the blue cobalt bottles that I did a couple of weeks ago well I'll be doing those cobalt blue bottles tomorrow and people love them they love them a lot in fact one lady brought hers uh, that I had done in Tampa and wanted me to draw a beak on the cardinal I had draw, uh, drawn, drawn on her bottle really really but real nice people and I enjoy seeing them okay so we've used this is called a bone and this is what you use it's kind of a a bony thing <laughs> with a with an edge uh, so that you can really get a good fold now I will be using I'm going to do I'm going to show you one more time how to do the bookmark and I'm going to be using uh, alcohol blending solution and I'm going to be using four colors of brown because I want it hopefully I want it to look like a tortoise shell uh, finish okay hey Leka nice to see you I'm so glad you're here um, so anyway let's get started and I'm just gonna do this by oh there's one other thing I wanted um, I'm gonna use a dauber on this this is a felt dauber has velcro on it and I'm just gonna use it to push my colors around I'm talking to you from our RV um, so let me know if something happens to the internet because who knows anymore what's gonna happen now I'm just gonna kind of start this put it where you can see it and I'll add some colors on the dauber to show you what that does A little bit darker uh, this could be my cheetah just kidding <laughs> okay now let's add the third color and sometimes you don't use the same colors like this this is kind of unusual that I would do this this might take on more of a rust tone but I thought this would be a good idea Everybody loves neutrals and uh, animal colors. And my last one I'm going to do is more of a rust color, it looks like. Let's see. Yeah. You can just play with these all day, but the problem with playing with them is that then it gets all muddied up. And you don't like to see that happen. Now I'll put these away because uh, I don't need them anymore. And I'm just going to put a little alcohol blending solution on my dauber to see what happens. And we're going to spread this color around. Uh, this is 91% alcohol. Well, actually, the alcohol blending solution isn't. But if I were using alcohol on this, it would be 91% alcohol. Not the kind you drink. I have to say that. People don't know. Okay. And let's just... This is so pretty. The, just the way it is. I don't want to mess it up. And it does look like tortoise shell. What do you think? Oh, it pauses. Yes. It's snowing in Atlanta, y'all. What else could go ha go wrong in Atlanta? Snowing in Atlanta. Oh gosh. I don't know where where you are, but we really thought we were getting tornadoes last night. Now you see some of these white spaces that happens with alcohol ink sometimes and the way it reacts to the paper. I kind of look out for it, but little white spaces aren't bad. Now 
and I'm just going to put a little more blending solution on this because I can't leave well enough alone. Yeah, we'll just kind of dot it around here. This is working out okay. This has been a fun rally. Uh, we're here with some friends who are helping me with my seminars. Francis and Clay Kroon. So we're all seeing people that we have met before. We even had a party last night at, um, not a party, but a get together of uh, people who own Tiffin Motorhomes. We have a Tiffin Allegro bus and we've driven it about 70,000 miles and it is very reliable and I better not say too much more about that because you know what happens. Now sometimes let me just show you the pretty colors in this. I think I could make a countertop out of that, don't you? Anyway. Okay, PJ, I don't know what's wrong, but I don't know whether it's sometimes it's your signal or my signal. Um, I'm, I'm just not familiar with that. Okay, now yesterday, I mean day before yesterday, I get these days mixed up a little bit. I'm going to let that one dry a little bit. I'm going to show you what I did the other day so you will know. I've got some new cards and I'm just going to take my white ink and I'm going to make some designs. It doesn't have to be anything special, uh, but you're just going to be enhancing the ink colors. and kind of following the lines. And doodling your hearts to your heart's content. I'm so glad you're here today. Hey, Roberta, I'm so glad you're here. Um, the crooms who are with us were very helpful. Francis always helps me with my seminars now. And along with that is my husband, Robert, who helps me out. Now, one thing about my husband is that all of us who have known him since he was about 12 years old call him Robert. The ones who have known him in the last couple of years know him as Bob so a lot of times when I'm talking to him they say who are you talking about and he was he did go get a, some some something down at the show uh, and I hear that he's back here so he'll come come in in just a second but he's very helpful in this um, because he can carry a lot of weight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He does more than that. But he does tell jokes. So I told one today. Uh, I think I told y'all I wanted him to take, to take me someplace special where they cook in front of you. And hey, Diana where they cook in front of you and they cut all the stuff up and cook. So he took me to Subway. Well, the next day, I said, okay, okay, okay. The next day, um, I brought him a cup of coffee and winked, hey, honey, and said, do you need something? And she kept following you. You come in and out. Um, okay. If there is a problem, who is that? Lauren. Okay. If there is a problem with the internet signal, what I do after I finish this is I will download. Um, I mean, I will upload this onto my YouTube channel, Artitude Adjustment by Marty Whitney. It's really an. It's really really 
aggravating to go uh, to do a Facebook Live and then I don't I don't know what kind of signal I'm getting anywhere kind of aggravating but we're gonna make the most of it and so if you'd like to see the rest of it please go to um, Artitude Adjustment by Marty Whitney on YouTube and this will be downloaded there now before we finish here I want to show you what we're going to be doing next week. If you're here and you and I see it listed, are you having an okay time with the signal? I realize it's it's still cutting out, but some of the people have left because it just was too bad. And I I don't know. I'm going to have to get a computer expert to analyze my issues here. And it wouldn't be me or my husband. Okay, so I've just made a few adjustments to this by using my white pen. This is my white UPO pen. And these are just visual adjustments that have no bearing, uh, of course, on the card. I'll be using these bookmarks in a memorial service later on. So that's an example of one. Now, when I get back to our home base, uh, I will um, t take a laminator and laminate these uh, as bookmarks that look like this. So they're real pretty, very pretty finished product. Thank you so much, Leica. Um, okay, so next week I'm just going to give you a little special treat uh, because I, I love to use the alcohol inks and I might as well use some that I have on hand to do something. I have a one inch hole punch, regular round punch at home. And what I'll do is um, I will take, let me show you my hardware. I've got all these chains that I've used for other projects and I will take a bezel and this and I'll set it um, strategically on top of, let me see if I can, wait, okay, I think I can zoom in, Oop. there. That's really a zoom, isn't it? Okay, and I'm going to strategically place this on top of something and then I'll glue it with what is called, I don't know whether we'll have a good shot of this or not, uh, it's called diamond glaze and it just m sets it off, makes it really pretty. If I have other pieces that are not, you'll see that these this just strategically placing these on top and using a one hole punch and then at that time oops let me move my finger okay then I can use different colors so that it looks like a stone Ooh. And just use my one hole punch and utilize all of the beautiful colors. Put this one out so you can see it. That's how it's going to look like whenever it's cut out. So, but I need my one hole punch. It's a one inch one hole punch and it makes a perfect round thing. The other thing I could do is just draw around it with a pencil, cut it out, and put it in a bezel but I'm not going to do that. Let's put this back where it was. Okay. And we'll put me in the... I don't know what you've planned this weekend, but it looks like we're going to have some pretty good weather where we are. And so I hope that you'll have a great weekend.
that you'll plan to do something with your family or something for yourself, whether it's go to a museum or just do something nice. Um, if you have, do you have friends that are creative? I'm sure you do. Um, they might enjoy looking at this channel at some point in time. Also, if you know shut-ins, they're also good one to look at this. You learn something every single day. And uh, for that, I'm really grateful. I do. I still learn something while I'm teaching classes, not where I normally want to learn things. But uh, things are... Um, Oh, and then at the end of in the end of that, I have a little bag um, that I put these in uh, with the necklace, and it makes a real nice gift. Whether it's a hostess gift or just uh, something because you enjoy the friendship of someone. Well, I'd love to get one, wouldn't you? So, um, oh, you're so right. A gold outline might. I'm gonna have my gold pens and my silver pens. When I get back, and we'll just see how that looks next week. But um, I'm looking forward to starting a new project. This has been good, and I've been able to catch up on some more of my bookmarks. Uh, this is just something that I keep doing, and to, to see if I can um, uh, get enough for to, for each person to have it at our memorial service. So I hope you have a good weekend. It's a great day to have a great day. And uh, I hope you'll uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you have any comments, I appreciate you letting me know. And um, if you like this, you may S-H-A-R-E it. So uh, y'all have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you Monday uh, afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you. Bye-bye now.